Have you recently lost a job? You are getting worried about what should be your next step be? Because what's happening in the tech industry? Don't worry, you're not alone. There are many more people like you right now who are thinking about it. And if you hang on to this video, I will let you know what you should be thinking of as you move along the journey of finding a new career or a new opportunity and how to work through these troubled times which we are coming across and the world is talking about recession, world is talking about tough times, specifically within the technology industry. So be there and hold on to this entire video and I'll ensure that I'll share some tips and tricks which can help you in your journey as you find the new path. Hi friends, my name is Anis Merchant. Welcome back to my channel. It's really glad to have you on the show and keep conversing. I know it is a difficult time for all of us. Uh, it's, you know, even I being in the industry sometimes makes me worry about what's going to be the future, what's happening. There are so many layoffs, bigger companies talking about major layoffs, hiring freeze, uh, talking about budget cuts. People have some various horror stories about what they have done. They've moved countries, they've moved companies, they've moved cities, and now they're disrupted because of layoffs or hiring freeze or re recall of job offer, which has really put a lot of people into face. But I would say adversity brings in opportunity. Remember that. And for that, you should ensure that instead of feeling dejected and uh, looking at this entire phase and area of what can really hamper you or really bring you down, think about what can you do to make it better and bigger. If it was 2008, which I've been through, or if it is 2002, 2001, it's very different than what it is. Today, many of us have variety of opportunities and variety of ways where we can ha earn a sustainable living and uh, you should start thinking about it. So here are certain tips for you to really start evaluating your next move or the thoughts which you really want to now start focusing on. First, I'm not deterring you to not get a job. Definitely try to uh, see if you are looking to build your career and still get into the corporate world. Uh, there is no harm, but do not be in a rush. There will be many individuals, I'm not saying the industry is like that, but there will be many individuals, there will be many companies who would want to take an advantage of the situation you are in. Maybe offer you a lesser role, maybe offer you lesser compensation. Do not do that. Do not take that step because that can really hurt your career in the long run. And I can tell you from personally, I've done that way back many years, 20, 25 years ago when I was in the same situation as you are today and it has really impacted my career trajectory if you have to ask me that's one of the things which I would love to change about myself because in the need of the hour in a sense of desperation I took certain steps in my career which led me to where it was do I repent about it definitely not uh, because I did learn from that scenarios I did learn from that situation but that's one thing which I would highly recommend uh, definitely evaluate more it's not just the compensation and the role, but you do have time now to think about the industry, the job, the kind of company you want to get into, the kind of culture you want to align to. And you have that time, use that time, do your enough research, talk to people, talk to employees of those prospective companies and see what opportunities, what stabilities, what, how is the company strategy, where are they headed, and does that align to your aspirations, your roles? And that will really help you build your career and your next move better. So that's the first tip. The second, if you haven't till date learned about it, we cannot rely on one source of income. We need to start thinking about multiple sources of income. And when I talk about these multiple sources of income, it's not just about investing money in uh, equity or mutual funds or SIPs or any of those sorts. You need to, yes, that's required, but you need to start thinking about how 
you build different career portfolios or build different revenue streams which can really help you uh, manage these downturns very effectively. And I've done a video on this where you can actually learn from it. What are those different methods? But I'll share some tips. You know, you can, if you have spent time in, uh, you know, building expertise in certain areas, think about, you know, starting a YouTube channel or start thinking about uh, building certain training programs which you can launch on platforms like Skillshare or any other platform. Um, and, you know, you don't need expensive devices to build uh, a video, you can do it over phone, you need a, just a good lag of mic, you know, just, uh, you know, if you're thinking about what kind of devices you can get started, I'll leave a link in the description to some of the products I use and hopefully those can really help. But nevertheless, I'm not here to promote those products, I'm here to help you out. So, you know, think about creating these parallel income sources. Uh, by creating and sharing your knowledge, it can really help you in the long run to enhance your knowledge because if you teach or if you focus on teaching, you learn more rather than just teaching. So if you share your knowledge, you gain more knowledge. Uh, uh, the third tip over here, uh, which I would love to share is uh, start thinking about giving your time to nonprofit volunteering activities because, you know, in these tough times, it's okay to take your time away and align your time and your energy on things which can do good to society. Uh, that will really help you stay calm. That will really help you uh, stay focused. It will really give you a sense of purpose, hopefully. And that really will uh, enhance your perspectives, Think, give you perspectives which are larger than your current job or your career. So I would highly recommend that as a second opportunity. Uh, third opportunity actually uh, the fourth tip uh, in my mind is uh, start thinking of uh, subscribing to gig platforms and what I mean by that is you have time you have the skills uh, and there are many individuals many companies looking out for gig workers in fact uh, I strongly believe that the gig economy is going to be the next big thing in the world I know it has had its own share of success, failure, start, stop, but the future is still there for gig economy. So think about how you can participate in the gig world and the gig economy. And it will be good for you to start engaging and definitely it may not. I know a lot of gig workers actually who are earning more than what they were earning typically in their job. Uh, they are more fear, they have more time and they are able to work on their own terms rather than working on somebody else's term. Uh, so yeah, that's my next tip is to try to, uh, you know, subscribe or sign up for platforms like uh, Upwork and other such platforms, Fiverr, where you can actually, uh, you know, provide your or offer your skills and people will be ready to pay if you really bring that uniqueness and even if you do not bring any uniqueness and you have skills which you feel you are expert at, do not shy away. You know, some people who are creative folks, uh, specifically who are artists, who who know how to write, who know how to create image, you know, there is jobs for them as well. Um, so that's the uh, other piece which I would recommend uh, as, a, as, as a tip for you to think about. Uh, the next tip, you know, it's more common in the US and a little bit more common in the western part of the world but not so much in India and other eastern part of the world is flipping and when I talk about flipping it can be flipping basic stuff uh, like flipping a car, flipping a car is not basic but flipping a basic furniture or flipping a, a, flipping a, a, a chair or any a anything which you feel people are ready to give it out at a very nominal cost, but you feel that cost uh, or that potential value for that particular product may be higher in the market, that's a great, uh, you don't need heavy investments if you're really thinking to start small. So flipping is a great business uh, if done right. Uh, you have to learn how to do flipping right uh, and ensure that uh, you, know, you don't over invest and create an inventory or create a business which is not profitable. Uh, so flipping is an amazing form of earning income, not just during this downturn, but actually in the long term as well. 
so that's something which I would highly recommend. And last but not the least, uh, similar line on flipping, um, you know, again, think about areas where you can take up part-time jobs. You know, I started my career at McDonald's and there was no shame uh, in talking about that. In fact, I, I always say that that was my best uh, time. It was my MBA of sorts for three years when I worked at McDonald's. So I would highly recommend you to think about, you know, jobs which may not be natural to you or you may not apply because you may think, hey, it's below my pay grade, it's below, it's not the career which I chose. But, you know, there is no shame today. You know, hospitality as an industry really is struggling to get people. Uh, you know, while there are certain industries who are str uh, struggling to retain people, there are other industries who are struggling to get people. Uh, so think about your time, what is the value of your time, and see if that job, and whatever that job is, is able to pay according to what you feel your value of time is, so go for it. Uh, you know, every job has a certain level of respect, and you should look at it with a sense of respect, and with a certain set of uh, uh, expectations, so go for it. Uh, and yeah, uh, you know, I would wish you luck. Uh, and if you want to discuss this further, need some guidance on career, how can you build a portfolio of your career, please do reach out to me on an email or on my Instagram or leave a comment. I'm happy to connect and discuss this further one-on-one -on -one with you. And uh, yeah, I look forward to engaging and sharing my content on a weekly basis. Uh, you please take care, uh, stay safe and be blessed. And uh, hopefully all of us go through this tough time together and come out in a positive and a successful way uh, in the other end.